Welcome, Welcome to Whiskers. Come on in. This is like kitty heaven. Yeah, the other one is in This is Smokey Joe. This is George. Yes, we know your name. My name is Caroline Abate. I am the founder and executive director here at Whiskers. We couldn't do any of it without the volunteers that we have. We incorporated and got our nonprofit 501c in 2015. So we've been going strong ever since. The main goal is to make sure that the cats have a forever home, that they're well taken care of, and that they're healthy. Do 99% of our adoption process and correspondence online through our website, whiskerspetrescue.org, O-R-G. There is an application, you fill it out. Usually within 48 hours, you'll get an email response. We need a vet history so we can call the veterinarian and find out that their current pets are well taken care of and they're up to date. And then once that approval, we'll make an appointment to come in and we give 45 minute opportunities for just you and your appointment to come in, meet all the cats and spend time in the playroom and you can meet several at a time and see if there's one that picks you. Volunteers are the heart and soul of this organization. Without the volunteers, this organization and many like ours would not be able to survive. And the volunteers are an extension of me, an extension of this place, their representative, but the care that they give the cats, you can't put a price tag on that. If you volunteer two hours a week, you know, you get to know the cats and you have your favorites or whatever. So you make a connection and the cat makes a connection with you. It's really kind of beautiful. Um, this is our main adoption floor that's open to the general public. We're open Wednesday through Sunday by appointment. And we do have open house now on Friday, Saturday and Sunday for families and to come in and just look around. And if they're interested in a particular cat, they can put in an application. Um, the cats are in cages now. We do have a large playroom. The cats rotate into the playroom and get to play with each other and socialize. Sometimes you'll find them running around in here, which doesn't always work out. And all the cages were donated through a grant. And as I said before, everything you see, it took us quite a while to build what we've got now we came into this whole space about six years ago five six years ago and it took us a long time and volunteer labor to put it all together and we had we opened it basically as a quarantine room and a vet area so these are cats that maybe have a little upper respiratory infection or whatnot that can't be with the general public. Try to do as much of it here in the front end um, so it's more cost effective and the animal gets a good home. So our vet bills are astronomical as you can well understand. Everything that you see in this building was donated, given to us through a grant. Um, donations are how we fund this rescue. Donations and adoption fees are what keeps us running. And th through the support of our community and adopters, we're able to do what we do. Last year alone, we adopted 551 cats. And this year we're on track to do over 600. Spread the word that we're here, that there is a place of peace for felines and that will be cared for. Get the word out that there are organizations such as ours 
I'd like to hope that as time goes on, we get some of the younger generation to feel the same way that we do and that rescues continue. I like to say this is a happy place.